Rob Schilling, who is a Rob Schilling, is a chair of social welfare, and he's going to present an award to John Oliver. Thank you, Frank. Really has been a an excellent first year just despite the budget really has um, <laughs> conferring an alumni award causes us to, us to reflect on the qualities of the people we've accepted into our program and also our efforts to prepare them for the profession of social work uh, we in the Department of Social Welfare honor graduates who have had a distinguished career we of course recognize that what they've accomplished uh, has much more to do with their innate abilities and their drive and skill uh, and, and less to do with uh, something we can pat ourselves on, on the back. But nonetheless, we like to, to bask in that somewhat too. We're delighted this evening to honor John Oliver with our annual Joe Nunn Alumni Award. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about John. Uh, John earned his MSW from UCLA in 1969 and of course that was a time of social unrest and great hope for progressive uh, reform. Now, just this afternoon, I went up on the fifth floor where we have our rogues gallery of, of, uh, of graduates, and I happened to notice that uh, John Oliver and Joe Nunn, uh, after whom this award is named, uh, were just one year apart. Uh, and uh, I'm sure uh, John has many uh, uh, fond memories of, of those times. Uh, now, during that time, John was a very active uh, student who unnerved a lot of uh, uh, academic administrators at UCLA at that time. And uh, thus, of course, it's only fitting that for the past 10 years, John has been, wouldn't you know it, a university administrator, at, and specifically the director of the Department of Social Work at Cal State uh, Long Beach. And that's actually one of the largest programs at, at one time in the United States and still is one of the very largest social work programs uh, in, in the state of California. Now, after working as a community organizer, John went to Brandeis University, where he earned his PhD, and actually a number of our faculty were here, were at uh, Brandeis at the same time John was. And he began an academic career that has spanned three plus decades, three universities, and multiple teaching and administrative roles, and for the past 20 years he's been at Long Beach. Now, at UCLA, we strive to educate professionals who will devote themselves to service and community betterment and John is unquestionably a fine example of this. Throughout his career, he's been actively involved in community agencies at the local, regional, and state level, and as, as a consultant, volunteer, and program evaluator. He's published widely and presented at many conferences. As an academic leader, John is known for his fairness, his integrity, his skills, and his creativity. He served in executive positions in the National Association of Social Workers, the California Association of Deans and Directors, and indeed, only this morning and last night, uh, he led a retreat uh, of this organization that I was, I was at. Um, for 35 years, uh, MSW students have consistently described John as an inspiring and distinguished teacher. And again, uh, he, he, he lamented that he, only this morning, that he does not get in the classroom as much as he would like. Colleagues praise him for his selfless dedication his unwavering sense of social justice, and his deep personal respect for all with whom he works. As a UCLA alumnus, social worker, professor, community citizen, and yes, even an academic administrator, John is fully deserving of our annual alumni award. John. Thank you very much, Rob, for your kind words. Uh, I am absolutely delighted to receive a, 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 uh, an award that's named after a close and dear friend, someone that has contributed uh, much to the social services community in his own right, Joe Nunn, a very, very dear friend. Uh, I, first, of all, I would like to say two quick things. One is, is that one is able to make a contribution to this society now and to our profession if one has a solid foundation. My foundation consists of something that I always actually allude to, and that is my family. So I'm joined this evening by my wife and my, my wife, Nancy, and my two daughters, Monica and Amy. And I'd also like to acknowledge the solid foundation 
that I received here at UCLA. Uh, I'd like to actually uh, identify uh, a few of the faculty members that made a special contribution uh, to uh, my betterment and insisted that I actually challenge myself and do the very best work that I could so that I would be prepared to in fact be of service to others and so that I could make a contribution uh, to this society. I'd like to recognize Harry Wasserman. Harry Wasserman was a dear, dear, dear professor and someone that challenged me and someone that cared about me deeply. I was able to accomplish many things in the classroom because Harry made me believe that I could excel, and with Harry's hand at my back, I did excel. I'd also like to identify and recognize Warren Hagstrom, uh, Dean Nathan Cohen, and I would also like to uh, recognize two of the early uh, African-American faculty members that were hired uh, by UCLA, because at that time, there were precious few African-Americans uh, in the classroom and precious few role models, and so I'd like to recognize Doug Glasgow, uh, that was one of the early faculty members that was, that was hired. I would also like to thank the Dean Supreme <laughs> for allowing me to actually receive this honor and also acknowledge you, Rob, uh, and your fine leadership and the excellent faculty that you have assembled. Thank you very much.